Welcome to OpenCost, the open source CNCF sandbox project for the real-time monitoring of Kubernetes and cloud costs. Let's take a quick look at the OpenCost user interface. When you first open OpenCost, we see the cost allocation of cloud resources to your Kubernetes cluster. The cost allocation page shows how your cloud costs are spread across Kubernetes namespaces over the past seven days. OpenCost queries the on-demand list pricing of your cloud provider and allocates that to the Kubernetes resources in use. We can look at different windows of time, like the last week, the past 30 days, or yesterday's costs. Switching to yesterday has the same resolution as daily for the entire window for this duration, and shows the namespace cost breakdown. In addition to namespaces, we can break down by cluster, nodes, controller kind, service, pods, or containers. We can set the resolution back to seven days and look at the cost of our containers with daily resolution. In the mouse over data, we can see the daily total and the breakdown by containers for that day. If you're working in another currency, you can change that in the UI as well. Let's set it to Australian dollars. If you like the report on the screen, you can download it as a CSV file. If you need to make alternate requests or download output directly for reporting, everything in the UI is available through the API and CLI with the kubectl cost command as well. Now let's check out the new cloud cost tab. Cloud costs show you the actual billing data provided by your cloud providers. It supports multiple cloud providers and requires configuring access to your billing data. Documentation for this is available on the OpenCost.io website. We start with an amortized net cost for the last seven days, broken down by providers. Let's change the date range to last week and change the breakdown to services. We can now see the various elements of our cloud providers, the breakdown by each service. We can switch back to week to date to compare. There will be a slight delay in reporting as your cloud provider makes this data available, typically less than a day later. Changing the breakdown to item gives us access to the individual billing line items. We'll change the sorting to descending and look at some of our most expensive services. Clicking on an Amazon S3 charge, we can see the daily item cost. Network cost, compute, storage, and everything else in the cloud bill is now available. In addition to providers, services, and items, other breakdowns available include invoice entity, category, and account. OpenCost can report our cumulative amortized net cost by invoice entity, and you can change to other cost metrics like list cost, amortized cost, or invoice cost. Note the change in pricing when we switch to list cost. This is the first release with cloud cost. We'll continue to enhance this feature and build on it going forward. There's lots of new documentation for configuring your cloud cost access or retrieving this data through the API. OpenCost is an open source project. You can check out the code on github.com slash opencost. Head to our website, opencost.io, to get started monitoring your cloud cost today. Thanks.